Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a little 8x8 canvas, 8 inch by 8 inch canvas. I'm just going to do a Dutch pour on. And I've had, I've had in the past real trouble with Dutch pours. My least favorite type of pour. Until the other day I watched Tammy Anderson. And I'm giving a shout out to Tammy Anderson. And please go to her channel and... Um, and watch her if you are having trouble with Dutch pours. She goes through in great detail about um, how thin you need your paint for Dutch pours. And I think that may have been some of the problem I was having. I think I had my paint way too thick. So I'm just going to give it another try today. And I'm not going to go through all my paints. They're mostly leftover paints. But I can tell you my base coat is uh, the Delta Creative uh, White. And I mixed just a little touch of the um, Amsterdam uh, Nickel Type Titanium Yellow to that. It's just a very light yellow shade. And um, the paints I have left over are from another pour I just did not too long ago. And I will list them all in the description. As I go along, I can kind of tell you the colors. This is a copper from Deco Art. Very pretty color. And I'm sorry, I don't remember this blue right offhand. I know it's a cerulean blue, but uh, I'm not sure what brand it was. And this is a silver that I know I mixed some black and some silver together on that to make it like a medium silver. This is a magenta. And this is hot cinnamon. This is um, color art. I just received some color art colors. And I really am excited about using these. And I do believe the blue was the Malibu blue from the color art also. And I do have a white here that I think I mixed something to make it shiny too. I, I'm sorry about that. I can't remember, but I will look that up. It will all be in the description. And my paint is very thin today. And I'm hoping this does turn out. And if not, I can still work on work on the consistency of it and I'm just putting a little puddle around it and then I'm going to blow it out I'm going to start with my big blow dryer on cool and high and then I may move to my little my little blower <laughs> try this with my big blower just to see how it goes. And I'm going to switch to my little blower now and I may even end up using a straw.
going to turn it now. Turn it again. Gonna take a look at it here a minute. Gonna blow a little bit more this way. Okay, I'm just going to take another look at it here. Okay, the only thing I don't like about it is I'm going to just scrape a little bit of this off. I think I'd like a little bit more negative space in this area. Then I'm going to add my paint back in. And I'm going to blow over that again. And I'll start with my small blower, and, and I may have to switch to the larger one. Like that a little better. Just still taking a look at it here. I think I'll torch it now. I can tell you in my pouring medium, it was uh, one part Floetrol to one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and about a teaspoon of um, Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. And 
I did thin my um, paints quite a bit with my combination of 90% water, 10% Floetrol to get the consistency that I wanted. And I, I think I'm going to take a little bit more out also Maybe in this area. Give some more negative space. See how that looks. And then try blowing it again. Okay, I'm much happier with that. And I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm just going to clean the bottom off and then we'll get you down for a close-up. You tell me what you think. Got a lot of really pretty things going on in this painting. A lot of lacing. Pretty cells. Trying to decide the orientation, what would be the top. I'll turn it this way for you. Okay. And we'll get you down for a close-up. And this is an 8 by 8 inch canvas that I did a Dutch pour on. And this is just the upper left-hand corner. And you can just see all the really beautiful cells and lacing I got in this. No silicone in this paint. Just the Floetrol and the GAC and the, and the Liquitex. And very pretty in here. You can just see that that blue is so faded. It's so pretty. And in here is more lacing. Pretty happy with it. Again, thanks to Tammy Anderson. Thank you, Tammy, for giving us all hints on how, what consistency to have our paints for these Dutch pours. I really like that, how that's outlined right there. And there's the lower right-hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it, please. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.